We have a very small group of poison makers in the world. They came out of the war industry, making poison gases, Agent Orange, tools to kill people with chemicals. They then became the agrochemical industry, the seed industry, the biotechnology industry, and started to use genetic engineering as a means to own life and collect royalties from farmers. 60% of the commercially sold seed is now owned and controlled by a poison maker whose name was associated first with Agent Orange. In India, they have illegally collected royalties and our government has finally had to intervene to reduce these royalties and the seed prices. But in the process, Hundreds of thousand Indian farmers were trapped in debt and have committed suicide. 300,000 farmer suicides since 1995. Most of the suicides in the cotton belt. 95% of the cotton seed in Monsanto's hands. Most of the price of the seed, a royalty to Monsanto. A royalty on seed, claiming they have invented the seed. From 98, we've been fighting them. This report was translated into every language across India and led to movements to uproot Monsanto, tell Monsanto, quit India. Now Monsanto is saying, we'll quit India. And we are saying, goodbye, thank you. You've caused enough damage. The ecologist of 1998, the Monsanto files, Monsanto had this issue pulped at the printers. It was reprinted at that time by my dear beloved friend, Edward Goldsmith. It tells of the crimes of Monsanto. Already at that time, those crimes have exploded. One of the crimes is spreading poisons, either through glyphosate known to be a carcinogen, having lobbyists influence Congress, the European Parliament, every government, every parliament. And a second crime, claiming that here's a safe technology that's going to produce more food. A few years ago, we said the GMO emperor has no clothes. Of course, there are clappers around, paid through public relations agencies to clap for genetic engineering. But the technology is failing, Monsanto's failing, more weeds and super weeds, more pests and super pets than we've ever had before. And in addition to that, huge harm of the kind we see in terms of the epidemic of cancers and birth defects in Argentina. This is why it is time to take stock and both do a public trial of Monsanto wherever we are as well as create a system of our food free of the poisons and the poison makers. It is with the spirit we are organizing people's assemblies as this year's actions for food freedom and seed freedom. From the 2nd of October to the 16th of October. The 2nd of October to reclaim our seed and say no to every unjust, immoral law Monsanto shapes. And by the time we come to 2nd of October, maybe there won't be a Monsanto because it'll have merged to hide its bad name with a buyer or a BSF. It'll have moved to Europe to save on taxes. But it doesn't matter because it's the action that counts. Their action of destruction, our action to defend the creative forces of life and all their freedom. The future is ecological. The future is agroecology. And we invite you, no matter where you are, to celebrate from 2nd of October Gandhi's birth anniversary for nonviolence and 16th of October World Food Day to show that we as people are shaping food systems that produce more food, better food, more livelihoods, more meaningful work, more democracy, more freedom. Our bread is our freedom. Organize people's assemblies wherever you are. If 
you have the opportunity to join the People's Assembly in The Hague, where we will also be organising a tribunal, putting together all the evidence of Monsanto's crimes against nature and humanity. It is the people of the world putting Monsanto on trial. It is people of the world saying four giant corporations, corrupt, toxic, destroying our freedoms, cannot be in charge of our economies, our science, our knowledge, our food. We will take control. And it is time for us to say all treaties, beginning with the World Trade Organization and the trade-related intellectual property rights, which allowed the Monsantos to write the laws of the world, now morphing into the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, that these corporate laws written by corporations are really laws for ecocide and genocide. We will be creative in ways that human beings have not had to be creative before. We will stand in solidarity as one humanity acting as one to roll back this absolutely immoral, unaccountable power of the genocidal corporations. It is our time to sow the seeds of freedom.